Hello, in this video I will show you how to uh, install the useful extensions, how to load the CT scan and how to save your work. Once the, the app is started you will probably get something like this and to, to use the um, slicer you first have to install useful extensions. So you go in view, extension manager and I recommend you to use this one. Uh, first start with quantitative reporting and then segmentation, no, segmented data or extra effects and it will automatically uh, install the other ones. Once it's done you need to restart 3D slicer and you can go to segment editor. Uh, if you install the as uh, extensions you will have something like this if you don't you will have uh, less tools and now it's time to lo um, to load uh, a CT scan so you click here on DICOM and import And you choose uh, the folder. It's uh, named DICOM because I used uh, anonymizer. And you click import, and you just have to wait a few seconds. Now you have to choose the the right exam. It depends what you want to do. If you want to do something precise with, for example, vascular reconstructions, uh, and you need precise uh, idea of uh, of the anatomy. Uh, you should use uh, one millimeter slices, but uh, everything will take a little bit more time. If you don't uh, uh, need to be more precise, and if you want, for example, to do, to do a, a liver volumetry, or, uh, or if you just want to, to show something uh, on a 3D view, you, you don't need a lot of precision, and you can use uh, two or three millimeter slices, uh, because everything will be much faster. Okay, and now you cannot see anything, and that's perfectly fine because you have to uh, to choose uh, the view you want to use. So you have to click here and choose conventional or white screen or maybe for a table, it uh, depends on uh, the size of the screen and uh, what you, you want to do, uh, you, you can choose everything you want. And uh, now we will talk about the basic uh, navigation in 3D Slicer. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, not, uh, it's, it's too small and not uh, practical. So you can use uh, the wheel to, to scroll, um, but it's not very practical. Um, if you want to, to zoom, you can right click and uh, move the mouse up and down like this. If you want, uh, I'm, only, I'm only talking about uh, Microsoft uh, based computer. I, I don't know uh, how it works on Mac, uh, Macintosh uh, based computer, but uh, some things can vary, but I don't know how it works on uh, Macintosh. Uh, so right click and to center and move the wall image, you can uh, click on the middle button. Okay, so and you can to click on Control and use the scroll uh, on the mouse to uh, to uh, zoom and uh, de zoom. So, for example, uh, we want to see only the liver, and we can do this, this. This. And um, if you hold shift and move the mouse, uh, it will uh, automatically adjust the view uh, on the other um, the other slices, in coronal, sagittal, the other view. So you hold shift and you move the mouse. For example, um, I will try to to find the origin of the super mesenteric artery, which is right here. It's here, so I just need to go here, and you know, you, you see, I have the super mesenteric artery here, and probably here. 
and it can be very practical. Um, so and, and to um, change the, the contrast, you just have to left click and move the mouse and you can choose uh, and do whatever you want. And now I will um, and now um, maybe it's time to save what you did even if we didn't do anything this time so you click save button and uh, you will have this, uh, this box uh, I recommend to use this uh, this button it's uh, medical record bundle it's um, a package containing uh, everything, uh, the DICOM data, all the models you did and everything in only one uh, one file. So I, I strongly, strongly uh, uh, recommend you to, to do this. And you click save and, and it, will, uh, it will be saved. 